Bonjour. Uh, my name is Jacob Weinstock. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Pixie Dust and evolving the on-premise experience with Tinkerbell. We're going to keep the, the metal train going. Raise your hand if, if you have a data center. Raise your hand if you have a home lab. Who's got some metal out there? All right. Good. We're not alone in this uh, cloud native conference here. That's good. Um, so I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Rosie. She's a senior cloud engineer. She's an expert in the cloud. Uh, she knows all the tools. She knows how to interact with the API. She knows how to build and maintain infrastructure, uh, deploy SaaS services, um, applications, VMs, you name it. She's a pro. Um, she had a customer come to her one day and say, hey, I need a bunch of specialized hardware. Do you have that in your cloud? And I need it in these particular locations. And she said, I don't have that, but I'll get that to you, right? So she, she found a use case. She had a customer who needed to have bare metal on premise, data center infrastructure, and she needed to get it working. But because of who she is and her skill set, she knew she needed to make it look the same way, right? So now enter Tinkerbell. What is Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell is a bare metal provisioning engine. It's a CNCF sandbox project. Uh, it's been around about three years, open sourced about three years um, by the folks at Equinix Metal, formerly Packet. Uh, it's Kubernetes native, API driven, um, machine provisioning engine, and more. You can deploy your infrastructure just like you would in the cloud. Do you build uh, golden images? Awesome. Tinkerbell can take your golden images and it can deploy them out. Do you use cloud in it? Tinkerbell can click, uh, take your cloud in it and do it. We actually have uh, workflow based uh, installations. So if you want to involve the process outside of kickstart files and things of that nature, this is where it's at. And we can install almost any operating system you, out there. Linux, Windows, ESX, you name it. We have a uh, cluster API provider also. So if you want to manage Kubernetes, you want to do the whole full life cycle, we've got that available. So Rosie was smart enough to build out her use case around Tinkerbell. She built out her golden images. She deployed them out through APIs. She even used GitOps and she won, her customer won. They were able to deploy their application and get the, get the end users what they needed to solve their problems. Now, this, this bare metal space is an interesting space here. Um, there's still a lot of innovation that's needed out there, right? Cloud native and the principles around it are fantastic. And they've pushed our industry to be more flexible and agile and to be able to grow and meet the customer demands. And we need that in bare metal whether that's Tinkerbell or whether that's Metal Cube, you name it, but we need it, right? There's a saying that says, a rising tide lifts all boats, and I believe it. And we need folks out here who have the expertise in cloud native to come and get involved in these projects so that we can really evolve what's going on. If anything, for your home lab, right? Raspberry Pis, Nooks, you name it, right? So Tinkerbell project. Couple ways to get involved. We have community meetings every week. We have a Slack channel that is in the CNCF um, Slack. We've got obviously a bunch of GitHub repos. We've got um, a bunch of playgrounds that you can set up and run. We, we have a Helm chart repo. Tinkerbell actually Helm installs pretty easily in and of itself. Um, we also have a Contrib Fest on Friday. Look, look us up in the schedule Friday in the afternoon. And we will have a kiosk in the Project Pavilion on Thursday morning. So come and check that out as well. So here's our website, the best place to go to get started, tinkerbell.org. You can find all of our docs, um, all of our info, and how to get, how to get going. Merci. Et bonne journée.